All right, so I just got dropped off at Winding Stair Gap outside of Franklin. That's where I hitched into town for my first zero day. Uh, afternoon before last. Uh, yesterday was great. Franklin's an awesome trail town. Everybody there loves hikers and, and really caters to us and takes care of us. Several free meals, free rides. Awesome place to take a first zero day. Um, yeah, so now just getting back on trail. Kind of weird. Feels feels like I'm starting over all over again, taking that day, day and a half off. Um, but uh, yeah, we're back at it. Not really sure how far we're going or where we're staying tonight. But there's a there's a lot of shelters and campsites along this stretch, so uh, shouldn't have a problem finding a place to bed down. Um, looks like it's going to be a bit warmer than it's been the last few days on trail, and uh, so that's definitely a good thing. So here we are. Okay, yeah, this is the, my first day of hiking after my first zero. Feeling super rested, legs feel great. Uh, knees are wonderful. Kinda got a new soreness on my right Achilles, but I think I just might have my shoe laced up a little tighter than I need to be. It's not blistering or anything, it's just kinda achy. Um, it's not too worried about that. But uh, yeah, I think we're gonna end up pushing, making it about a 16 mile day, cause it's not even two o'clock yet, so. That's where we're at. Another cold night, nothing like several nights back when we had just gotten first into North Carolina because it wasn't snowing or anything, but it, and it wasn't windy, but it got down to like low 20s and it stayed warm enough. It wasn't cold, but just still pretty much a sleepless night. So I was really not feeling it this morning. I was just fatigued, stumbling down the trail like I was drunk or something. It's one thing to not get any sleep and going to work and sit at a desk all day, but when you just hike 16 miles in the mountains and you're trying to do something similar to the next, and you don't get any sleep, it's rough. But uh, probably got about seven miles or so in so far today and feeling better. Um, so that helps. But uh, we're only a few miles from getting into the Natahala Outdoor Center, the NAC for short. I think there's like a restaurant and stuff there. And a couple of people I'm hiking with are picking up some boxes that folks mail to them. One of them contains boxed wine and some type of smoked cheese. So don't let anybody tell you we ain't fancy out here. Um, yeah, and I think we'll probably bounce out of there and head about three miles outside of the knack to camp for the night. Uh, and that'll put us a, like an even two days hike. Um, to, uh, to the next town stop, uh, Fontana Dam, which is uh, where we get into the Smokies, which is, uh, yeah, that should be interesting. Um, so that's uh, where we're at with it, but so I'm just really hoping this cold weather stretch snaps because it's, it's uh, tough for me mentally because it's like you just get up and you want to cook a warm breakfast and you can't, you just, you, when you wake up, you better tear down camp and as soon as you get out of your bag you need to be moving get that blood flowing so um, and your honey bun is frozen solid and you have to put it in the pocket of your puffy coat for half an hour so you don't chip a tooth but uh yeah so trail life
about 10.30 in the morning. Uh, stealth camped last night for the first time, so it was pretty cool. Um, basically from where we left camped, like pretty much exactly 26 miles to Fontana, which is the last stop before the Smokies. So we're pushing for 13 miles today at least. Um, it, I'd like to make it a little further than that if possible because that'll make tomorrow a bit shorter, which will be helpful for me because I've got a few things I need to get done in Fontana. I've got to resupply, make sure my battery's charged up for the Smokies, and I gotta get my permit too. So I gotta track down a computer and printer to, to handle that because I forgot to do that at the Knock and Top of Georgia Hostel and probably a couple other places. So yeah, so there we go. Okay, so been on the trail for about a half hour this morning. Um, yesterday, did about 13 miles, intended to do a few more to make today a shorter trek into Fontana to give me more time to do the things I need to do to get ready to get into the Smokies tomorrow. But uh, the trail had other plans. Um, 15, 16 mile days have become kind of the norm over the last, you know, the second week of this trek. Um, but yesterday, the elevation changes and things were just, all kinds of ridiculous. I think the first seven, eight miles of the day was only pacing at about a mile an hour. So that really put the kibosh on any ideas of pushing past the 13. But um, one thing I will say is the last two mornings now, it's been like so much warmer when we get up, like 40, 45 degrees, which I know probably doesn't sound warm to a lot of people. But the thing about 45 degrees is you can actually feel your fingers when you get out of your sleeping bag and it makes, uh, tearing down camp and, and getting breakfast around and filtering water for the day, all that just so much easier and entirely less miserable. Um, and just puts you in a better place, better mindset for the rest of the day. So I hope that continues because that's really been the toughest part of this for me so far is those starting out your morning like that. I mean, it just takes forever to just tear camp down. Um, and yeah, so this is way better. But uh, yeah, so I think it's like an 11, 12 mile day into Fontana. Hopefully I'll be in there by like two, which should give me plenty of time to resupply and, and do everything I need to do. Cause I'm gonna try to get in the Smokies and stay in there uh, until we're through them instead of trying to hitch out in Gatlinburg or something like that. Cause I've heard that's just a pain. So that's the plan anyways. Uh, the trail doesn't generally care a whole lot about plans. But, uh, you know, it's the idea I got anyhow, so till it changes, that's what it is. through the woods and have the pungent twinge of rancid wet dog. It's probably not a dog. just leaving the Fontana area. I'm about to hike across the dam because that's part of the trail, a big old dam. Uh, stayed at the Fontana Village Inn last night after about a 12 mile day. It was wonderful, uh, super comfy bed. Got a great night's sleep, had a good meal last night. Big old breakfast this morning. Got the things done I needed to get done. Gotta 
carrying a heavy pack because I'm I got a six day resupply because I'm uh, gonna try to do the Smokies in one stint without having to get off trail. Um, today is only gonna be about a 11 and a half mile day to the first shelter in the Smokies. You have to stay in shelters. Um, you can tent near them if the shelter is full, but you can't stealth camp or anything anywhere and get a huge fine. Um, and it's a whole lot of climbing today. There's a couple mile stretch that you gain, I think a few thousand feet in elevation in just a couple miles. So I got a few easy miles before I get to that. Um, and then, yeah, so that'll be good times. Uh, and then I'll be officially in the Smokies for, um, I'm thinking about five days. So um, that's where we are and that's what we're doing. Just gotta keep walking north. But like I said, I feel really well rested. Legs feel good. I got a full belly, some real food. Feel about as good as I can feel getting into this, so make it happen. Turn off. measure into the Smokies now uh, pushed uh, about uh, 14 miles in yesterday originally it was only gonna do 12 everything I'd heard was that first 12 was just super brutal tons of elevation climb to get up into the Smokies but ended up being that terrible so went a little further I'm um, gonna try to do about 16 today but it's just basically in a cloud I mean I guess that's why they call them the Smoky Mountains and not the uh, Blue sky, sunshine, bird chirpy mountains, which would be kind of nice because I'm sure there's some fantastic views from up here. But I'll be in the Smokies for a few days, so I might get lucky and get a clear day or a clear piece of the day. But uh, it's quarter to ten. I already got about uh, three, three and a half miles in, maybe four. I don't know. But uh, the, the terrain, uh, once you got up into the Smokies, you know, that first eight miles, it, it hasn't been too difficult definitely easier than the majority of Georgia and the first part of North Carolina so um, yeah that's uh, where we're at with it so good times Okay, so this is the early part of day three in the Smokies. First day was great, really felt like I was uh, crushing it. It was beautiful out. Um, despite the elevation being some of the, one of the more challenging days on trail so far, like made really good time, good mileage. And then, <laughs> and then yesterday happened and the, the script got flipped and the Smokies did the crushing. Um, Barely made it just under 12 miles, even though I hiked from like 8.30 till 5 o'clock at night. And it was just like mid-30s and sleeting and raining and hailing all day. And the terrain was just like, not a lot of huge elevation changes, but just like a few hundred feet straight up, straight down, straight up, straight down. And it was really muddy, so it was just like every step was calculated and slipping, and it was just very difficult. So, um, so that happened. But so far today is much, much nicer. Blue skies, sun's out. 
Uh, still pretty chilly, but it's supposed to warm up. Let's give it a chance. It's barely 1030. So I'm uh, maybe like three and a half miles into my day. Klingman Dome is coming up though, so that'll be cool. It looks like I'll actually get a get a good view from Klingman's, which a lot of people don't get because it's often cloudy and smoky in the Smokies. Um, so that'll be uh, that'll be a stroke of good luck compared to yesterday. So that's the way she goes. <laughs> So just leaving uh, Klingman's Dome up there, getting back on trail. It's kind of wild, you're just in the middle of the woods and then all of a sudden you step onto a parking lot and there's just like families and people everywhere. You smell laundry detergent from like 300 yards away. But yeah, the, the uh, Klingman's Dome up there is the uh, highest elevation point on all of the Appalachian Trail. So I guess it's downhill all the way to Maine. Yeah, I don't think it works that way, but that's what I'm gonna tell myself. So. Yeah, beautiful day out though. Finally got some great views. Trying to make up for the garbage hand that I was dealt yesterday, but can't win them all. But uh, yeah, back into the wilderness I go. Sit, Soze, sit. Good boy.